what I've heard Union Township representatives say is, you know, there's another section in Mingo Creek, or Mingo Circle, where the DEP came down with a hard hammer and said, go fix this. And it cost them a lot of money to go fix that. And they have kind of a mini wastewater treatment plant. And so they're, you know, they're suddenly cast into the wastewater plant or uh, treatment business. And I think, and I may be wrong, but I, I think what one of their thoughts was is, well, if we have to manage this little one, you know, maybe we could manage these other ones, and 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 then that would save for the people that have to kind of manage all that. Did I, did I get that about right? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Mingo Circle, really, uh, they've been asking for sewage for years, and years and years. The old board that fell on Kathy Erickman, APT convinced her this got to be done. Yeah. Uh, my understanding is. What Union Township wants to achieve, and they said they would maintain their own sewer that they put in, right? On Mingo Raymond Road, right. <clears throat> Mingo Circle, and uh, the new plan over there on the other side of Tracks Hill Overlook, okay? Uh, and basically, from my understanding, it would be the same rate that we're being charged right now, okay? <laughs> but we're being charged. Now, the people in, in the trailer park, I talked to some people up there, and they're paying twenty dollars more a month. Twenty dollars more a month, and a lot of those people up there are on a fixed income, retired, you know. And they they said, hey, "Can we do something?" I said, "We can't. We, you know, I don't see where we can. I don't know legally whether we can or not, but I can't see where we can because the agreement that they have." Those people because I talked to the people up there too, and they paid the same rate as what. Yeah, 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 I paid yeah, thirty six yeah. bucks. That's not the same lease. Well, no, it's what we charge them. They're not. Adding. We're not charging them, but they're, they're the, the, the mobile park. Yeah, we don't know if they're fifty two fifty times all the residents. That's their problem. That's not our problem. Well, so it's different for every different district. I'm sorry. This lady lives here. She does one of the public. Oh, I live there. You pay fifty two fifty. Um, you know, I think I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. It goes by your your usage. Well, we, we, are indiv right. we are individually metered. We have a meter. No, yeah. we need your storage bill. The way it works is is we charge your landlord, right. you know, whatever based on uh, probably water usage and yeah. it goes through the water pipe. And and I he, believe it is fifty two fifty. And then he charges. It but, but if you were to add up the fifty two fifty times, you know, so, you know, suppose you had a hundred customers up there. That's, he's probably collecting more money than what we're charging him. That's just my, my mm -hmm. suspicion. And the agreement was that they would take care of their own line, service their own yeah. lines. Now, from my understanding, that's what Union Township wanted to do with Sunny Bell Rainbow Road. They would maintain the line. Yeah. I mean, they have equipment where the sewer authority has to subcontract all that stuff. Yeah, I, 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 um, I'm just trying to lay the, the land, yeah. the, the, what I see is the lay of the land here. So Mr. Cohn, uh, Mr. Hirschman, the engineer from Union Township, has been talking about, about trying to get some kind of service agreement. And so we're kind of at the crossroads now is, is, is sort of a, what direction does the board take? Do we do we enter, entertain these ideas of, of having things similar to South Park or do we, you know, or do we use our existing model? Mr. Cohn, empowered by, go ahead, I'll turn it over to you. I just want to add one little thing. Go ahead, Terry, you got the floor. Uh, when, when we met with him, I think he did request that we look at the Mingo Circle Road says, okay, here's the agreement we have with you people. However, we explain to him that this is not the same type of agreement at all. Uh, if there is a if there is an issue or a problem with no payment, with uh, lack of funds, who do we go after? So yeah. since it's a private entity at South Park Estates, we can pile a lien on his property. Exactly. Whereas right. if it's a municipality, that, that, that was that was my contention okay. with asking for when was this meeting, Richard? When did you have this meeting with Mr. Hirschman? About a week and a half ago. 
somewhere in it. Ryan and I kind of meet at the municipal uh, building over there usually. Okay. So, and Mr. Bernardo, you'd mentioned basically what Jason Stanton was talking about uh, based on his research. Can you repeat what, what you were saying there, sir? Uh, the, Jason sent a memo which, which I agree with. It says, per a document titled Municipal Authorities in Pennsylvania, 11th edition, April of 2020, an existing authority service is protected under the Act, which prohibits another authority from duplicative or competitive enterprises. In addition to that, document. I'm more concerned about our wastewater treatment agreement, which all the municipalities have assigned, because we're, we're fighting with, you know, the city of Clariton. We were in litigation with the Clariton Municipal Authorities over that agreement, and, and some of these same issues arose. You know, we're, we all agree that the, the Clariton Municipal Authority will be the exclusive provider, would be the exclusive entity to treat our sewage. And we all agree, every member of this municipal authority has agreed that PCSA will be the exclusive entity to provide sewage services to the customers in the service area. And I, I, I just believe that there's an argument, unless we amend that agreement, that such a, such a proposal violates the implied and express terms of that agreement, in addition to possibly the Municipal Authorities Act based on Jason and my research group. Yeah, so just to summarize it, I don't want to waste any, anyone's time. If, if I think Union Township is headed in one direction, expecting to get some kind of service agreement, I'm not sure the board agrees with that model, and we probably ought to resolve it now. I mean, I think it, it's fair to say that whatever model you have for Finley Arama is it, you'd probably want to use that for Mineral Reach and, and your other, is, no? Okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to get this <coughs> I think, resolved. I think it would be a good idea if you and Mr. Kovach would attend one of our meetings you know, and, and, and talk, talk it over with the other supervisors. You know, uh, I don't see where we're trying to take anything away from, from Peter's Creek Sanitary Authority. And, uh, after what Mr. Medina just read about uh, having two authorities, well, then that would make South Park Mobile Estates in violation. Right? It's not. It's it's mm -hmm. it's not the same. South Park Mobile mm -hmm. Estate is well, competing what I'm with is, us. Uh, I mean, it's a. It's they have a. They own the land. If right. if those were all individually metered, I think we'd be going to South Park Mobile Estates and saying that we better do take over the building and everything else. But we cannot lean. We cannot lean the. I understand. Problem. I understand that. I understand that. So I think it's entirely yeah. different. Yeah. yeah, and I gotta tell you what Mr. Lawson said really struck a chord with me last month, which is, hey, we're kind of, and, and these are my words, but we're kind of in a pickle. We gotta go do this thing on Mingo, Mingo Circle, and you know why, why don't we collect a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there, and go pay for the person that's to kind of manage all that. I right. get that. I understand right. that. But I don't know if that's the direction the board wants to take. Well, unfortunately, uh, I think we. We're mandated that we have to collect from Mingo Circle, if I'm not mistaken. No, I get that. No, I, I'm just saying, you're I understand mandated. sort of what I think what your what the bigger vision was. And I, I don't, it sounds to me our, our solicitors sort of warned us against it, I think, based on some research Mr. Stanton. I would like Harshman and uh, Rick to continue to talk. Again, the whole process was we already have West Elizabeth Sanitation Authority, we have a service agreement with them. We just put sewers in down on Overlook. We've got a service agreement with South Park to take our sewers. We're mandated to do the sewers on Finleyville or Raymer Road. You guys don't want the sewers, so we have to take care of those sewers. We, we're mandated to, to install a sewage treatment plant at Mingo Circle and the sewers. Those are going to be ours because we're going to have that many. We're going to probably need another guy or two to take care of the everyday stuff. With the new plans going in, I suggested it to see if we can work on an agreement. If not, okay, there's no taking over your sores. There's no extra billing. We're certainly not going to try to cut an agreement with you and then charge the homeowner more money because we're trying to get people in there. That's the only purpose of that, but I don't I don't want to speak for 
Jamie Harshman, because he used to talk to you. Are you two talking? I think it's a cleaner way to do it. We did, Mr. Lawson, Mr. Chairman. Uh, at, at the end, and uh, you can uh, correct me if I state this wrong, I believe what was stated was we want to see some type of an agreement because we believe this could be mutually beneficial. And if we could see and be presented to us that it's mutually beneficial, then we have something we can work with. If it is clearly not, then we may not. I, I believe that's where we left. I think that's fair. I think that's fair and honest. I mean, you know. Right. Yeah, I would just add, I don't think it's PCA doesn't want the lines. We just didn't want to pay for the installation because it wasn't one of our priorities. Well, it's like be like any developer. If you wanted to donate it to us, you know, I think we When this was brought up, we were called thieves and being well, dishonest and stuff like that, you know. And that, that wasn't my understanding. I mean, we're just trying to grow Union Township. How you grow Union Township, you've got to have sewers, okay? Because people aren't going to buy outhouses and put privies in the yeah, backyard okay. anymore. So it, I agree, and, and uh, it, so it sounds to me like the next step is Horseman needs to give us some kind of draft agreement, right. and then we'll vote on it. But we, I mean, be forewarned, it may not be approved because we well, may not want to head down uh, that. Uh, uh, you got to start think, somewhere. Yeah. You got to start somewhere, and as long as I'm on the board, I'll I'll push for Horseman to have meetings, with Mr. Yeah, Collins, okay. and uh, well, I think we're done meeting. It's a matter of we need a piece of paper from them to basically say that's fine. First, perhaps if we have the agreement that we made with South Park, okay, we send it to okay, the, we send that? Mr. Harshman. Uh, no, no, but he, he's he's going he's going to look at it and pick out the parts he's going to like. I, I think you requested an agreement from him. Well, we did request an right, agreement so, from him. Yeah, so he wanted to use the basis of what we have. He doesn't Park. have one, and he wants to use that one as, yes. as sort of the starting. Yeah, point. we need yeah. to it's a public work document. together. We can yeah. have Pardon? Yeah, so step one is, Tanya or, or Mr. Kovetz, can we provide the existing agreement we have to Mr. Harshman, and step two is Mr. Harshman provide us his proposal for, for this? I told him I would ask. Okay. That's I, I would I, ask. That's, do we have that available? Hang on. Uh, we have to see if we got that. Where would you find that? Hang on. Well, we'll try. It's, right. it's so an old one. You'll send it directly to Harshman. Yeah. Mr. Glenn. And my comment with working together is, I've seen nothing. It's been all talk and innuendo. And I believe at the last meeting, when I was on a Zoom call, I asked for a written proposal. You did? Okay. <coughs> we didn't get nowhere without a written proposal. That's right. So talk is talk. Mm -hmm. and until something develops, and, and it seems as a board member, and when you were talking about thieves and such, there hasn't been a whole lot of transparency from the Union Township end. My point for, excuse me, I have the floor. I'm sorry. From my point of view, I've seen nothing. All I've heard is talk. The story changes. So from that regard, I think I've been a little skeptical because I haven't seen anything, and all we keep hearing is this, this, and this, and that's how falsehood manifest themselves. Right. So that's why I had requested something written, a proposal, a plan, or what have you. And so that's, that's, that's I agree kind of where I'm coming from. Nobody, so. nobody, I ain't saying nothing against I Like I said, I think Mr. Cohn and the engineer meet with Jamie Harshman and try to get some kind of dialogue started. We're talking past each other a lot, a lot of emotional activity. You know, I think I think we're kind of in agreement on the path forward here. It's, it's the, they had the meeting, it was productive. We got we'll, we'll provide them with some exhibit and then they can provide us what, what their proposal is and then we can vote on it. Right. Perfect. Mr. Lumpton has the floor. First of all, I'm offended by the fact that you said that Mingo Church fell on deaf ears. No, it hasn't. They were not in our watershed. I agree. We could not do nothing about it. It's not in our watershed. You're right. Now, not falling that fear. Number two, you're talking about from where, where Marty's house is at the top of the hill at the end of our line down towards Gilmore Road. You're, you're running that line into a hole. What about the top of the hill at Philly Valley Ram Road down to there? Where does this end? You have Point, point to my home the other direction. So where does this end? Well, that's something. So whatever, 
if I look into my crystal ball and look forward here, you know, we'll get some kind of agreement from a proposed agreement from Harshman. We'll vote on it. But that's the discussion, part of the discussion we have to have. Is this a precedent for more, or is this a unique situation? There's a come on, how's the other direction? Yeah. Coming into the same yeah. hole. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to get a, a feel for what to expect. Is I feel like we've been sort of talking past each other for months, and, and I just want to make, make sure that we're on the same page. Just what I was saying, when I said there's no action. From the supervisor to Union Township, yeah. the old board ignored uh, Mingo Circle the same way they ignored El Rama. I can remember years ago in El Rama, you walk in the backyard and stunk up your, you know, am I right? Mingo Circle. Mingo it's not a problem. It is a problem. Yeah. But right. making every house put in a grinder pump to pump up towards Marty is totally wrong. You should build yourself a pump station down in that hole they want and make it. one they line up. It, I, I, I just totally agree, disagree with making all those houses put in their own grinder pump. That's really, that, that's just not cost effective. I, there's got to be another way. Okay, any more discussion on this matter? I think we have a plan forward. Okay.